Hey guys, this is the second part of the either or constraint problem, and I'm just going to jump back in where we left off. Um, so we are just about to start the constraints, and um, we start off with our either or constraints that I explained, and feel free to pause right here if you just want to look over again. Um, but thankfully this is all written out nicely. So our first one, we want to of course start off with LP, um, not LP, with our prob plus equals. We're not summing anything over, so we don't need any loops in here, and it's pretty simple, except just that we have to type everything out. Um, so we're going to start off with x squares, and we can't really use a loop for these because um, our m value changes. I guess you could probably figure out a way if you maybe set up a parameter for the m value, but uh, for the sake of time, I am just going to index each different car. So we're going to do x fares 1 and I'm following this exactly how it's typed out in the problem. So x1 is less than or equal to 2000 times um, our y fares 1 and again this is setting um, x1 either to 0 or to less than or equal to the max number that it can be based off of our resources. And then going into the second line, we have a thousand minus x vers, still on x vers one, less than or equal to two thousand one minus y underscore vers one. And this ensures that our x one is greater than or equal to a thousand if it is produced. Um, next, we have the same thing, but this is for, um, I guess it would be mid-sized cars. So x vers 2 less than or equal to 2,000 times y underscore vers 2. And then same thing, 1,000 minus y underscore vers. To less than or equal to 2,000. I forgot to put a asterisk right here. Make sure you do that because Python does not know that putting a number next to a parentheses means you're multiplying. Um, anyways, so now we're getting into our third variable. So pretty simple, just a little tedious to type this all out. So feel free to try it with a, a um, an M parameter if you'd like to skip all of this. Maybe try out a loop. I just haven't done that yet. And this is a different number because again, um, the M value is based off of the resources required for each different type of car and the amount that we have. And then finally, our last either or constraint. A thousand minus is less than or equal to twelve hundred times one minus y underscore bears. And then we just have our steel and labor constraint. So those are really simple. We just do LP sum. We're summing over our steel times our um, x decision variable. So for i in car, and that needs to be less than or equal to 6,000. LP sum labor I times X bears I. So this is our labor constraint, and we cannot exceed our 60,000 hours that we are given for labor. Um, and then just to double check, we have that our x variable is integer and then our y is binary and we set 0 and 1 as our bounds. 
Um, and then lastly, of course, we just want to solve this. And I'm just going to copy and paste for the sake of time. So when we solve our problem, we have to have our prob.solve function, parentheses. Um, you can include this if you want to show that the status is optimal. So I like to just print like status. And then um, this is the line that you use to actually print the status. And then I create this for v and prob.variables loop. Um, and print the name equals and then the value and just pay attention to this capitalization right here or you'll get an error and then finally um, we print our max profit our z value um, and I like to just put like profit or whatever we're maximizing or minimizing and then the value um, so let's see what we get That worked out nicely, no errors. So let's see how this compares. Um, well that's odd because I've gotten the right answer before. I must have typed something in wrong. Let's see. So I literally just went through this probably four times trying to figure out what was wrong and <laughs> They put Y on this side instead of an X, and that's so annoying because I could not figure that out. <laughs> Anyways, so this is our optimal solution that we should get because we have this in the book that this is the correct solution. And um, so our Z value, our max profit is 6,000. Um, we do want to produce the mid-sized cars and we want to produce 2,000 of them. You can see that y2 also gets a 1 uh, value, and then everything else is 0. So 2,000 mid-sized cars, and that does meet our minimum 1,000 requirements. Um, so you can kind of see how that worked. So I hope this helps you guys understand how to solve um, either or constraint problem in Python. And um, of course, every e either or constraint is not going to be the same, but if you can get it down on paper and get it... Um, written out nicely it's usually easy to just input in Python and check out my next video for more Python programming